Hi there Langley Leopards and all other little artists. I hope everybody's doing okay this, today. Um, today I'm excited because we're going to do one of my favorite animals. We're going to do a little drawing activity and we're going to draw a giraffe. Now I did this activity with my first graders and we were not able to finish it so for first grade it might be a review. Um, you do not have to make yours just like mine and you don't even have to do a giraffe if you don't want to. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can make an easy simple drawing of a giraffe today. So the first thing that you need to do is I want you to try to take up your whole paper today. So we're just going to draw the giraffe head and the giraffe neck, not the whole body. So the first you're going to leave a little bit of space at the top, about that much, just leave some space at the top and you're going to draw a line at the top of the head. Now this part is kind of important. You don't want this too small because if that line is too small, then your whole head is gonna be too small. So now I'm gonna go down. And it kinda is gonna look like a pizza a little bit at the beginning. All right, and now I'm gonna make this part that's gonna kinda look like the nose. And then this line is gonna be where the bottom of the mouth is. And then his two little nostrils. Now, the eyes are probably the hardest part. You want to put the eyes on the side. So I'm, and you want them to be pointy, not oval or circles. So those are my two eyes. And now I am going to put a circle at the bottom. All right. And then I'm going to put triangle shapes on the side for the ears. And then I'm going to do the top part. And those are not horns. And I was researching today about some giraffe facts. And they really don't know what those are for. And I found that really interesting. And then they have a long, long, long neck. And the giraffe is the tallest mammal animal in the world. Now, when you go to do your giraffe spots, I want your giraffe spots to be organic shapes. And I talked yesterday about organic shapes not being shapes that have names and rules. So organic shapes can be wavy. Um, our shapes are not really going to be pointy or loopy. Um, and they're not going to touch either because the giraffe spots do not touch. And this type of pattern is a natural animal print pattern. So we've been making patterns the last couple of days with lines, but today we're making them with organic shapes. And you're just going to go all over your giraffe, put some on your face of the giraffe. Maybe even a little bit in the ears. And then you can also, so there's my giraffe. And then giraffes love to eat leaves. They are herbivores. They do not eat any um, meat. So you can put your leaves all around like your giraffe is standing in the middle of trees with leaves all the way around. After that, you can absolutely trace and color. And when you're done, this is my finished one. He's pretty cute. Um, it should not take you very long today. Overall, I think it took me maybe 15 minutes to draw and color and trace. Um, I use yellow and orange for the body part and I use browns and orange for the spots. Um, you can use whatever color you want for the sky. I hope you guys have fun doing your giraffe. I can't wait to see pictures. I love all the artwork you guys are making. Um, if you're done doing your animals and you want to do other animals, I would love to see them. Maybe you can do some research and find some cool animal facts. Um, I love you guys. I miss you. I hope that you're doing good at home and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Miss you.